So let me tell you where I am. I've lived in Oakland for 21 years. I've been married for 27 years. I have two adult children. I've spent a lot of years coaching kids soccer uh, on the fields all around Alameda County and umpiring Little League games. Uh, this has been my community for uh, quite some time. Uh, my daughter has now graduated college and working in D.C. for the Sunlight Foundation, uh, working for, uh, to improve government transparency, and my son is, in, is currently in college. Uh, my wife is a teacher. Um, she actually uh, began her career 30 years ago as a reporter for the Hayward Daily Review. Uh, and uh, she worked her way up, uh, was a San Francisco Chronicle reporter, and then she went into teaching. And I, uh, I uh, applaud uh, hearing about the work that's being done, uh, especially at Casamont. Uh, my wife also worked there uh, on a very long project, uh, working with the kids there. Uh, she worked in the Open Unified for, uh, for several years teaching English. Um, as for me, I grew up uh, in the world of law. Uh, my mother went to law school uh, when I was three uh, in 1961. A few women did. Uh, and uh, my, you know, I guess in my family, a small talk was debating public policy. It's just, that was the culture I grew up in. And I uh, moved to California 32 years ago. Uh, and my career as a lawyer, and as a mediator, as an arbitrator, is now in its 28th year. Uh, over those 28 years, I've litigated hundreds of cases all over the state, uh, trials, uh, jury trials, court trials in Los Angeles, in San Mateo, in Alameda, in San Francisco, in Marin. Uh, I've uh, been a court-appointed judicial arbitrator for over 20 years. Uh, I've been a uh, mediator appointed by the United States District Court, a uh, mediator appointed by the San Francisco Superior Court on and cases, uh, I have successfully resolved uh, many, many disputes uh, between uh, members of this community. Uh, I've also uh, been a two-term member of the Oakland Public Ethics Commission. Uh, I'm the only one to have served two terms there. I was vice chair in my first term and uh, chair in my second term. Um, I also uh, served as a hearing officer uh, for the Public Ethics Commission, uh, and uh, to this day I'm still the only one to have issued a, uh, an opinion a long hearing uh, directing the City Council to cure and correct uh, violations of the Sunshine Laws. Um, I have been uh, long been involved in uh, government transparency work, uh, trying to keep government honest and open. Um, I also, uh, in addition to the other things I mentioned in terms of being connected with the community, uh, have for over 20 years volunteered my time as, a, as an arbitrator of disputes involving the, de the denial of homeless shelter services to the homeless. Uh, that work is very close to my heart, just like the work that I do for the, did for the Public Ethics Commission, uh, because it's about access to justice, especially for those people who have nowhere else to turn. Uh, when this opportunity arose, that is, the seat opened up, and people who were interested in becoming judges could sign up for this contest, uh, I, I, I grabbed it immediately. Uh, and I grabbed it because I saw that budget cuts were going to impact the courts uh, dramatically more than we've ever seen before. I remember in the 1980s uh, when it took four or five years to go to trial, and, uh, and as a solution for that, uh, they, were, they integrated some alternative dispute resolution programs, uh, created fast track, and uh, implemented direct calendaring uh, uh, to the uh, direct assignment to the judges to try to manage the caseload. Um, those solutions are no longer going to work. We need uh, judges with particular skills now to withstand what is, we are now seeing, the great delays uh, in, in getting justice uh, and even things as, as, as important as uh, not having a court reporter. How, how do you deal with that? Um, I come from a background of, of a deep understanding of alternative dispute resolution as a private mediator for many, many years. Uh, and uh, I can bring to the court the ability to manage cases effectively and efficiently uh, by knowing how to settle cases. Um, unless you settle them, uh, the, the backlog is going to be enormous. Uh, we need judges that are going to be proactive in, in making more alternative dispute resolution techniques uh, 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 available within the system and judges who know how to, how to implement them. Uh, I've been endorsed by the uh, Oakland Tribune uh, and the Hayward Daily Review and the Freedom
Freeman Argus and today by the uh, East Bay Express. Uh, I have many judges uh, who uh, have endorsed me, uh, many community leaders, uh, including uh, uh, the Oakland School Board member Alex Spearman and uh, David Kakashiva, as well as the mayor of Piedmont, uh, John Chang. Uh, for a full list of endorsements, uh, please go to my website, electandrewweiner.com. Um, I believe that I have the combination of, of integrity, uh, proven integrity as part of my work uh, with the Public Ethics Commission uh, and the experience over 28 years of it uh, that's required to be an effective Superior Court judge. And I hope for your support. Thank you.